going to get better with time, right? But here's the thing. The, here's the beauty about edge, edge computing and edge to edge. Uh, no, what we call uh, node to edge or edge to node or you know, node to edge. But your CPE, okay, it's going to get really, really good to where it's going to function. Um, how do I want to say this? It's going to function less like a gateway, but, but more than a radio, right? It does have radius inside it, yes. But what I mean by that is the translation is going from an edge node, okay, to your modem. It's going to be like very, very synchronous. It needs to be synchronous because we have 5G advanced. It's going to have your 5G core. So your downlink and uplink speeds are going to be the same at some point. Okay. Right. Over millimeter wave. Okay. So but to, to accomplish that, you need to have an edge, what we call like an edge router in your house. If you have an edge router in your house that has the radio built in, you're going to be able to communicate with that edge node outside of your house. That's about a couple blocks down the down the road, okay. So, uh, part of the problem is stuff's however, about to get real expensive, dog. I was just about to say that <laughs> Verizon needs to build it, Dave. If you what's they the what's the thing? Wave, yeah. If you if you build it, they will come. The Verizon is working on it. You see, we see that now with the whole MECs with the edge nodes. They're building it. I'm not saying they're not building it. They're building it. They're doing it. But it's just going to take a long time, right? Once that happens, everybody's going to be happy because all you need to do, like I said, is hook up your edge router in the living room. You got middle room service. But zero it's cool. Crazy. People had a hard time. People had a hard time paying four or five hundred dollars for a dishy from Starlink. You know, if well, if, would, if, if, would, if a, if a fixed hard. wireless access provider comes to you and says you got to buy yeah. this, this, and the third. Well, here's the, here's the problem with Starlink. I wish their price would come down. But Starlink was expensive from the get go. It was. Okay. I mean, it's a little lower but, now, but yeah. Right, right. I'm but, just talking but, about the hardware, though. The service oh, actually went up. It's it's right. up like 25. percent Right, but the, but here's the thing. The the pricing, right, for fixed for FWA for Verizon and T-Mobile is affordable. That's the very difference. affordable. Right. That's the difference between what the great carriers that they give you and Starlink. Satellite infrastructure is very expensive. Yeah. Right versus terrestrial, millimeter wave edge compute. It doesn't cost as much as you think. The problem is, it's just the build up's expensive. The actual uh, CPE is not going to be that expensive. I mean, once it's mass produced, then they can get a right, supply yeah. of it, sure. Yeah, so that's so that's. I got to get B on point. this one. B, yep. chime in on this one. Run with it, man. Well, I'm just sitting back, loving what I'm hearing. I mean, you know, I, there was a time when I was getting laughed at about millimeter wave and mech and all these things, and everybody was saying, nah, blah, blah, blah. Now, fast forward to today, I'm, I'm loving what I'm hearing. I mean, you guys can continue. I mean, it's great. Well, I, I'm just a realist, man. I, I call like I see it. So, I mean, you guys know that. I can't, I can't call something that's not there, if, if you get my meaning. So, well, well I, mean, that. I mean, I mean, I mean, the innovator of the industry has always been Verizon. So, I mean, yep. what they're oh, doing, yeah. as, you know, like right, what they're doing that. with millimeter wave, mobile edge compute, all these things, you know, that's, that's kind of Han's baby. That's what he talked about. That's why he got that job. Talk about gator Here's shoes, bro. Absolutely, the gators. Absolutely, I'm talking about. I'm talking about Hans. There's no, shoot. there's no other CEO in the industry that said anything about mobile edge compute or millimeter wave or Facts. the importance of these things, except for Hans. Facts. So, so to hear all the stuff that's being said today, it, it's, 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 it's funny. It's, are you saying? Are you me. saying Hans is a revolutionary and people just didn't realize it? I am. <laughs> Is the truth? I mean, the other. I agree. Guys, I, I think are, he's. A, I think he's the wireless network guy. I think the other guys are all kind of just like, let's just see what 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 Hans has to say about this. Let's just wait and see what Verizon <laughs> does, and we'll, and we'll copy it all after right. they work all the kinks out. I mean, it's kind of how right. it works. The only the only innovation T Mobile has bring brought to the industry is pricing, and AT and T doesn't innovate. They don't really do that. So, I mean. Mobile edge compute, all the stuff that we're talking with respect to fixed wireless access and all the different use cases that come with Mech, these are good things. The industry is going to be happier that these things are available. I mean, now you're going to have to pay for it. I mean, I don't think uh, 25, 35 bucks, I think we should probably enjoy this while we can. There's no way millimeter wave and Mech and all this stuff. Is going to come out. It's going to still be thirty five bucks. I B, just don't believe that's going to happen. How much but, do you think the consumer can endure with respect to hardware, like in terms of a mean? fee? Like it, for for the FWA to be better, I think it's going to take some outdoor CPEs, 
And I don't think that the carriers can forever front the bill on an expensive unit because, you know, with with the the hardware has got to get kicked up a notch. It's going to get more expensive. So if they want a better performing connection, they can get it, you know, by paying for better CPE. And and I don't think the carriers want to, you know, fund that. I mean, what what if the CPE costs like six seven hundred dollars, bro? I mean. Is, is the cost of doing business is starting to really come up? You always play that game because consumers, you, you come out with that product and consumers will just say, hey, something's wrong with my existing stuff. Why can't you just give me that for free? I mean, there's going to be games that get played and I don't really have an answer for you as far as how much the consumer, I don't know. I mean, a lot of people are crying broke nowadays and I'm not sure all that's 100% true. There's a whole lot of spending going on right now. Um, look at the data for yourself. Um, America certainly doesn't act like it's broke, but I don't know. Um, right. so, I, that being said, I mean, I, I really don't have an answer for you, Sneed. I don't know what the price, what people would be willing to pay to upgrade, but having that product available definitely seems to be something that's 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 groundbreaking. I mean, you're already getting faster speeds with millimeter wave than you get with the fiber connection, with, with at least the plans that most people have nowadays. I mean, I was testing millimeter wave today. I got five gigs down, 500 megs up. That's outstanding. And that's not like I was right under an antenna or something. I was like across, way across the street. So, I mean, it's it's getting good. It's getting really good. What I was going to add is right now, like, for example, T-Mobile lowest plan is 35. You know, their highest one is 55. Those are both with any voice line. They're already subsidizing hardware that's $300, $400 if you just want to buy it, but they're leasing it to people. So uh, an outdoor CPE, which by the way, US Cellular, which apparently they've got millimeter wave everywhere they offer fixed wireless. Uh, millimeter uh, US Cellular is really heavy on the outdoor uh, CPEs. So basically, you know, I think they're doing like a cut rate type of thing where they're giving you a discount off the outdoor CPE but that's the one they're heavily promoting. And then they also got the option for the indoor one if the customers don't want to pay for that. The reason why but, they're doing that, Max, is because they can actually give people a real broadband solution. Right. You know, that's because the they're doing it over millimeter wave licenses. So if yeah. the fiber circuits are on on um, aerials, I mean, they could sell a customer 500 down and 50 up because, easy. Easy, for sure. Well, and the other thing is like, again, T-Mobile, Verizon, they're already subsidizing hardware that's worth three hundred four hundred dollars for just the indoor cpes or just the basic plug and play you know boxes so 200 300 maybe even 400 bucks more you know maybe do like a financing thing split it over 24 or 36 months or do like a lease option or something five ten bucks a month as an add-on i mean right now you got t-mobile selling like a extra ten dollar add-on for what like a mesh extender and 24 seven tech support. And they make that a whole separate plan for $10 more. What's this? Why would the consumer say no to five, 10 bucks more a month to finance or lease like the better, like the outdoor millimeter wave compatible CPE that uh, would allow them to deliver on that enhanced performance. I mean, you can have multiple tiers to fix wireless, right? Both Verizon and T-Mobile yeah. do that right yeah, now. Yeah. I so, think that's the best way to go. Customers, respond to optionality right you so know so if like they're the, trying to watch the budget they'll go with the entry you could try to upsell them later right you can attach value yeah. and they might make the move right and it used to be just one plan but now it's like you know you got your options and verizon you know they got 5g home which is basically you know the crappy like really low end access you don't even get ultra wideband i i think that's a bad business idea on their end just because like that's just a bad they're just misrepresenting themselves but what's the, what do you plan, think is the which plan the base the base 5g home like the cheapest oh, okay. home, which is yeah, yeah because it doesn't even give you ultra wideband you don't even get c-band in it so i think verizon just shooting themselves in the foot with that plan but then the 5g home plus you get all the access right 45 dollars with a qualifying line so you know that would make sense to me you know the way i see it work in the future when they start deploying this millimeter wave stuff maybe you have like you know 35 or 40 bucks you got your base tier it's got all of your network access except the millimeter wave and it includes the basic CP. And then you go up to like 60, 65, even 70. And that's where you start to get into the millimeter wave stuff and the outdoor CPE included because that extra cost on the plan is easily going to cover the cost of that. Again, whether you finance or lease it. So 
I guess my biggest takeaway from this discussion is they're already subsidizing hardware that's $300 to $400. What's a little more?